Hello and welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. It's just me and Ali Moreno in hey. the studio tonight, but fortunately we'll be joined by a few more. Okay. Nada Manua and Frank LeBuff will be with us a little later on. We're going to start by talking about the Premier League, looking ahead to Sunday's big game between Arsenal and Liverpool. Liverpool top of the table, five points clear of second place City and Arsenal in third. If Arsenal lose, they would then trail Liverpool by eight points. So here is what Mikel Arteta had to say about it being a must-win game. My mindset is to win it, and I'm in, in that frame at the moment. But do you, do, you, do you look at it and think, right, this is a must-not-lose match then? No, this is a, a game that we want to win, and we have to earn the right to win it. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do so many good things, because there is a reason why they are there, but as well, there is a reason why we are where we are. As mentioned, Frank and Nadam joining us. Uh, they are where they are. Uh, let's talk about this then. Are Arsenal out of the title race, Nadam, if they lose this game? Yeah, I don't really like to go too big too early, but I think on this occasion you probably have to say so. I think being eight points behind the Liverpool side that you know have the narrative with the manager, they have the quality with the players and the belief that they can go and do it. I think eight points would be too much, especially given the fact that they don't get the chance to play against, um, against Liverpool again from Arsenal's perspective. So I think that would be huge. But in fairness to Arteta, and probably myself and others, we're all looking at the worst-case scenario for Arsenal, but we're not really discussing the best-case scenario. If they win this game, they're two points behind Liverpool. Now, that really does feel like a big title race and a big push and a big result at a great time for them. So, again, I think the eight points would probably be too much. But Arteta and Arsenal, they're not really the type of team, in my opinion, who like to be on the back foot. So they're going to go for it in front of their fans, and it could be a huge result for them this season. Frank? Yeah, I think uh, I agree with uh, Nedum. If they lose, for me, it's over. Uh, it's more must not lose, as the journalist asked him, uh, asked Arteta uh, about, that in, uh, it's at stake. If they don't lose the game, they can still hope, even if it's going to be very hard, because uh, I think the, the confidence uh, is going to drop from, uh, from, the, from the Gunners players. Uh, but... Uh, uh, they play at home. They have to win. Uh, there is only one way to uh, to be uh, productive in that matter is to uh, to be concerned that uh, you have to uh, run more, be better, and uh, and do the thing better than uh, than Liverpool. And we all know how Liverpool is capable of the, of getting during the game better and better. And uh, that's going to be very tough. But uh, if Arsenal wins, they're still in the race. If they draw, I think City is going to take the opportunity to go front. And uh, it's going to be very hard for the Gunners. Does desperation for Arsenal then to win this game give them the incentive to do so? Uh, yeah, that's one, to, one way to look at it. But l let me just give you a scenario that could potentially happen in this game. 80th minute, the game is 1-1. And now the responsibility is on Arsenal. Do we go and push for the win? Because we're at home, because we want to get back in this race. It's our opportunity. It's our chance. We push forward. We expose ourselves, and now we're also risking the fact that we could just go ahead and lose this match, and with that, losing any opportunity of winning this title. So the question to Mikel Arteta, while he didn't care for it, and he was just kind of tap dancing around it, okay, oh yeah, uh, what do I do, what do I do with this question? The truth of the matter is, it is a valid point. You get to that moment of the game in which there's a chance to go win it, but in doing that, in trying to take that chance to go forward, you're also taking a risk in the back line. You're taking a risk for a moment of transition going in the wrong direction. And it's in that moment that I want to see the answer from Arsenal and the answer from Mikel Arteta. Not in a press conference, but in that moment when you need to make a decision. Do we go after this? Do we go and win it? Or do we say, you know what, we'll take the point here and take our chances elsewhere Ali. and stay in the race? I think this is a moment for them. If I were Mikel Arteta and if I were Arsenal and if I'm in that situation, five, ten minutes to go, I'm pushing to try to win the game. That's what I'm there to do. I don't, this whole idea of must not lose or, or taking the point, I don't think it's enough for Arsenal, not only in points, but I don't think it's also enough for Arsenal in terms of mindset. Frank? Mm, about about mindset, uh, Ali, uh, you're talking about the 88th minute at the end of the game, how to react and how to compose according to the, to uh, what you think and the, and the game, uh, but what do you do uh, at the beginning of the game? Do you go for it? Or do, are you trying to play tactically uh, with, uh, with Liverpool and just wait? 
uh, or you, you really go for it because you know first half you can score goals and put Liverpool in trouble because you know that they're going to come back in the second half. So what would be your mindset at the beginning of the game if you were on Arteta's shoes? To be honest, Frank, I play the way that I play the whole season and I trust that that's good enough to beat Liverpool at home. If I start changing who I am and what the makeup of my team is, depending on the opposition, in this case Liverpool, and I sort of in, in some ways lose my identity and lose who I am as a group, I think Arsenal are asking for trouble. You go and play Liverpool and, and trust that you're good enough to beat this team. I don't... You don't want to get in a back and forth with Liverpool. I wouldn't do that. I would, con I would control the pace of the game and not get pushed into a back and forth because the crowd all of a sudden are pushing you forward. There's got to be some intelligence about the way that Arsenal approach the game. Don't go in a back and forth, but don't lose who you are and the identity of who you are as a group. Nadam, your thoughts on the approach from Arsenal in this game? I think we've seen over the last couple of seasons that Arsenal are very aggressive in terms of how they start games, especially at home. I think it gets the crowd on side and it forces the opposition to not really be as comfortable as they would like to be at any given moment. And I think that's why we saw them, I think, in the FA Cup a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. I thought Arsenal, even though they lost, it felt like they were the better side. And obviously there was a conversation then about them taking their chances and so on. But they can make Liverpool uncomfortable. And when the crowd gets up and the players have that belief in themselves, then it will be an exciting game from their standpoint. Whereas I think if they take a backward step, I think that plays into Liverpool's hands. I think all the guys will probably say themselves, if you can go out on, a, on the field, get a few passes off, get a few movements in there and you sort of get into the rhythm of it early, the chances are you will have a better game. But when you feel like you're on the back foot straight away, then you have to think about it in a slightly different manner. So I think Arteta will be on the front foot like he always has been. It's one of the reasons why I think they'll be in with a good chance this season of winning the title. Darwin Nunez is an injury doubt with a foot injury. Does that change things for Liverpool? I think it changes their mindset in the front line and their ability to press the ball and to regain possession in advanced areas. The, the work rate of Darwin Nunez. Some people point to the lack of goals at times. Darwin Nunez has been scoring goals. It's just not to the rate that some people would want him to do so. But I think beyond the goals, what Darwin Nunez does for this team is that it does give this front line a certain personality and a guy who's going to run in behind and who's going to make it uncomfortable for defenders and who's going to make it uncomfortable for trailing players when they're trying to get the ball in possession and trying to transition the ball forward. He seems to be lingering everywhere in the attack for Liverpool. And most of all, I think he gives this team the identity that you would want out of a Liverpool team, certainly pressing the ball together. The work rate is outstanding. The, ball, the work that he does with the ball and without the ball, I think, is outstanding as well. It's really important to what they do. It really, I think, matches the personality of Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp. The goals, I think, would make him an entirely, or it would take his game and his, his profile to an entirely different level. Regardless, I think Darwin Nunez, for me anyways, I think he's a really important player to what they do, both offensively and certainly in the initial part of the defensive game. Frank, what are you most looking forward to in this clash? Uh, well, first, a wonderful game, you know, that shows that the Premier League is the best uh, league in the world and uh, that the two contenders for the, for the title are going to fight for it and, uh, and not forget to play and just thinking tactically. Um, we want emotion. We, we want, you know, uh, from the two coaches, you know, changes of tactics sometimes and uh, maybe craziness in the middle of the park. And we want to see everything. Uh, we are going to watch, you know, the game of two teams who are, who are very talented uh, uh, team and, uh, teams and, and know exactly what to do. The pressure is going to be huge, especially uh, uh, for the Gunners. But I'm expecting to see a great game of football. Um, so many players are international players, worldwide players. Uh, I don't, I don't want to see, a, a, you know, those games where because they are too scared of doing the stuff, they don't do anything, and it's a non-game. I want to see things. I want to see players trying. Uh, again, I want to see pace in the game like you can see in the Premier League. I want to see all of that. And, of course, for everybody, I want to see goals. Can Arsenal stop this Liverpool attack, Nadem? Do you know what? I think, I think they can. I think for me, uh, Saliba and Gabriel, I think they've done well this season together as a pairing. I think their aggression, they're obviously good on the ball and they're a good line, last line of defence for Arsenal. So I think they can sort of help them from that standpoint. But, you know, it's an attacker's game in my mind and it only takes one moment for somebody to be in the ascendancy for you to be punished. 
I think you're looking again at like the likes of Jota, Diaz, and you know whoever maybe Nunez playing off the other side as well. And they are a threat. They're constantly trying to stretch the game in behind. But the Arsenal defenders, especially centrally, they'll be up for that challenge. I think we could obviously ask the question about Zinchenko versus, say, a, a pacey forward as such. But centrally, I, I like the matchups that we see there. And again, you know, Liverpool will obviously at some point get their way. They'll likely score. But I think it will be super competitive because I think from a matchup standpoint, I think those two centre-backs can sort of handle their own in this league. Prediction time. Who are you going for? I'm going for Liverpool. I'm going for Liverpool away from home and it gets to that 80th minute and Arsenal does push forward and they expose themselves and Liverpool in a moment of transition kills this game off and kills the hope of Arsenal winning this league. But Nadem's going for Arsenal. Nadem. Yeah, you know, I just I just like them. I just like them. It's feel like a few teams, are sort of, a few people rather, are sort of betting against and not really feeling their chances. But I've seen them play against Liverpool in recent times and they've done well. I think I've seen them playing against a lot of sides, top sides this season and they have held their own. So I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, 2-2, two, two, then maybe a late goal for Arsenal. Arteta losing his mind down the sideline. Klopp furious. I think it's just going to be a magnificent game with a real big climax of the home team coming out on top. Throughout this whole preview, Nadam has been leaning Mm -hmm. conveniently towards Arsenal. Why do you think that is? Well, it's convenient. It's convenient because you know what happens? Huh? If Liverpool lose and then Manchester City, City win, ah, Manchester yes, City! Yes. Hey! <laughs> hey! Yeah, exactly. There's exactly. always an agenda. <laughs> never, never with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, look with that big smile on his face as well. Frank, you and I agree again. Why is it a draw? Uh, because because it's hard to uh, to bet on that and and to think out how it's going to happen and uh, I think for for the beauty of the Premier League and the, the thing that you want to have a, a race of three teams uh, is is it's not good to see Liverpool winning because it's going to put Arsenal as we explained before out of the of the of the race. Um, I'm not Nadam. I'm not a Manchester City fan, <laughs> so I wouldn't say Liverpool uh, Arsenal is going to win. I'm not as uh, as um, tempted as as Ali, Ali, Alejandro and I need him to have a, a crazy end of the game, 88 minutes, like a scenario. Somebody's going to score, either Liverpool or Arsenal. I think it's the, the both teams going to calculate and play tactically the last 10 minutes of the games. If it's a draw, it's a 2-2 or 1-1, they're going to stop playing because they want to get the, the they want to get the three the one point and they don't want to lose that. <laughs>